So, Bajaj has launched yet another Discover, this time calling it the 150S. Now if you think it looks identical to the other Discovers before it, you have got it bang on. Because even though this is the new flagship Discover, it uses the same platform down to the wheelbase and dimensions as the Discover 100T. Not just that, the bikini fairing, the fuel tank, the side panels and even the tailpiece has been borrowed as is. The Discover 150S then, even though a good looking motorcycle in its own right, doesn't really have that visual pull of a new motorcycle. Its twin, however, is a different story altogether. It's called the Discover 150F, where an F signifies fairing. It still uses the same platform, the same tank, the same side and tail panels, but the half fairing up front gives it a standout appearance on the road. It also gets smarter clocks. These are part digital, part analog and come with trip and time readouts along with service due indication. The Discover 150F also gets LED tail lamps. But the real story here is the engine. This new engine, like the new age discovers before it, uses a 4-valve head twin spark plugs and the promise of best-in-class performance and economy compromise. It displaces just under 145cc, but produces a noteworthy 14 PS of max power. The peak torque at 12.7 Nm is healthy too, and the engine is mated to a 5-speed gearbox. So what does this mean in the real world? Now before we find out, we must tell you even though the 150F does compete against the likes of the 153cc Yamaha SZS, it doesn't really feel as substantial when it's tried. It still feels like a small motorcycle and the seating is a bit cramped compared to larger 150s. It's not uncomfortable but just not as good as some of the others. The performance though is right up there. The clutch is light, the throttle response is crisp and immediate and it is an engine that's not shy of revving. The mid-range is strong too and it makes the Discover 150F a pleasantly tractable motorcycle both at city and highway speeds. It has a strong top end, Bajaj claims a top speed of 110 km per hour. And though the engine does get noisy and vibey right at the top, the NVH isn't bad or at least not bad enough to make you want to shut that throttle for the fear of blowing the engine. Like other modern Discovers, the ride and handling is well judged. The 150F isn't a cushy ride but potholes, bumps or a rippled road don't bother it much. It also handles reasonably well. It's not the sharpest motorcycle to filter through traffic with and it isn't the most planted around bends. But push comes to shove, it will go around the twisty stuff without the rider really having to back off too much. Finally then, at rupees 60,000 or thereabouts, with the sort of performance styling and dynamic ability the new Discover 150F packs in, it is certainly worth buying.